Welcome to Paris, a city celebrated for its enchanting beauty, rich history and dynamic culture. Yet, beneath its romantic skyline, Paris grapples with a challenge faced by many global metropolises. A metro system overwhelmed by extraordinary demand. Each day, over 4 million passengers traverse the complex network of the Paris Metro, one of the world's oldest and most used underground network systems. But beyond the city's core in the wider Ile de France region, a different story unfolds. Here, far from the metro's reach, countless residents depend on cars and buses, enduring congested roads and long commutes into the capital. For these suburban passengers, the daily journey into Paris is more than just a commute. It symbolizes the urgent need for a seamless and effective transportation solution. The current dependency on road transport not only consumes precious time, but also contributes environmental concerns, starkly contrasting the efficient, albeit crowded, Paris metro. But change is on the horizon with the Grand Paris Express. Grand Paris Express is an ambitious project that aims to transform transportation in Paris and Ile-de-France region, bridging the gap between suburban and urban areas, reducing congestion and further integrating public transport system. The Grand Paris Express, extending the legacy of the 227 km long Paris Metro and the Réseau Express Regional RER Regional Train, is integral part to Paris' vision of becoming a carbon-neutral, renewable energy-powered city by 2050. The project encompasses the construction of four new metro lines and extensions of lines 11 and 14, adding 200 km of tracks and 68 new stations to the metro system, with construction of new train maintenance and storage sites. It will be organized in the form of ring roads serving the areas of near and middle suburbs and a diametrical connection from the northwest to the south of Paris, allowing them to be connected to the heart of the urban area. This network extension is expected to serve additional 2 million daily passengers. French and Parisian authorities hope the Grand Paris Express will significantly cut transport time for suburb-to-suburb -suburb movement on public transit and reduce car usage for residents in the Greater Paris region. The development of this new metro network is being funded through a staggering investment of 36.1 billion euros, with 30% financed by the French government and the remaining 70% by the local authorities through earnmark taxes, subsidies and loans. To ensure better commuter service to the inner northeastern suburbs, 5 km extension of Line 11, with 6 stations along the way, is under construction from Mairie du Lila to Rogny sous bois Work on this extension started in 2015 and is expected to be open in the coming months. It will provide new connections with the RER E line and the extended Ile de France tram line 1, which it will better link to central Paris and the commuter hub of Châtelet Le Halleux. Line 14, often referred to as the network's backbone, is currently undergoing an expansion to both its northern and southern endpoints. The northern extension, adding 5.8 km of tunnel and four new stations between Saint-Lazare and Mairie du Saint-1, became operational in December 2020. This line is set to extend even further, reaching saint denis Playel to seamlessly integrate with the upcoming lines 15, 16 and 17 by 2024. In parallel, the southern extension of line 14 is making significant strides. This expansion covers a 14km stretch linking Olympia de to Orly Airport with seven new stations. A notable feature of this extension is a new train maintenance and storage facility located in Morangis. Additionally, there are plans for 12 service structures strategically placed 800 meters apart to ensure smooth metro operations and enhance passenger safety and comfort. This southern extension is particularly significant as it will provide metro access to Orly Airport, France's second largest airport. 
Furthermore, the Olympia de rear station is undergoing a transformation. Currently used for garage and maintenance purposes, it will be converted into an interstation to accommodate the seven new stations. This interstation will be connected to Maison Blanche using the existing hull and an additional 800 meters of tracks, further enhancing the connectivity and efficiency of the metro network. Envisioned as a new 75 km ring line around Paris, Line 15 is sectioned into eastern, western and southern segments. The eastern segment, spanning 23 km, will link lines 1, 5, 7, 11 and 12, with preparatory works having started in September 2018. The western segment, measuring 22.4 km, will connect with lines 1, 9 and 13, with preparatory works beginning in May 2017. Both segments are projected to be fully operational by 2030. The southern section, a 33-km stretch, aims to connect lines 4, 7, 8, 9 and 13 by the end of 2025, with construction commencing in June 2016. A notable milestone was reached on November 28th this year at the Champigny Operating Center, where the first manual test run of the new metro was conducted. This event was attended by many officials, including chairman of the executive board for the Société du Grand Paris, the French Minister of Transportation and several other key figures. Lines 16 and 17 will be two complementary lines, which would have a common core from Saint-Denis to Bourget. Line 16 is a 46.7 km line, featuring 10 stations from Saint-Denis-Pleyel to noisy champ which began its journey in February 2016 with preparatory works, followed by construction in February 2018. A significant section between Saint-Denis-Pleyel and Clichy-Montfermel is set to be operational by the end of 2026, while the remaining section till noisy champ will be commissioned by 2028. Line 17, covering 26.5 km with 9 stations between Saint-Denis-Pleyel and Le menil Amelo, is expected to cater to 565,000 daily passengers across 13 municipalities. The section from Saint-Denis-Pleyel to Le Bourget Airport is planned to be put in operation by the end of 2026. The work between Le Bourget Airport and Parc des Expositions to lay 10 km of track and overhead catenary system, along with linear equipment works, are planned to start in mid-2024. Line 18 is a 35 km blend of underground and elevated tracks that will feature 10 stations between Orly Airport and Versailles Chantilly. Its operational phases include the Massy Palizot to CEO Saint Eban section by the end of 2026, followed by Massy Palizot to Orly Airport by 2027, and finally CEO Saint Eban to Versailles Chantilly by 2030. The construction of the first section of the 6.7 km viaduct of Line 18 was already completed in March 2023. So, beneath the streets of the Ile-de-France districts, a remarkable underground transformation is taking place. Over 100 km of tunnels have already been excavated, forming a remarkable underground network. While daily life unfolds above, two tunnel boring machines are actively at work, continuing this extensive digging. Remarkably, this ongoing project has already seen the completion of 27 tunnel boring machines that contributed to this mega project. The Grand Paris Express trains with operating speeds between 55 and 110 km per hour will feature a modern design, electric service braking with solutions for driverless automated systems, data transmission, centralized supervision controls, and the overall integration of the transport system. The automatic operation will enable more efficient service, bearing in mind effectiveness in terms of adapting the frequency of trains, whatever the time of the day or week. It will guarantee identical journey times and commercial speeds for all trains, 
reducing operational uncertainty to a minimum. In July 2023, the first train of the Grand Paris Express, comprising six cars, was transported to the Champigny Operating Center for assembly and testing, mirroring the tests conducted in Valenciennes. This new rolling stock, also destined for lines 16 and 17, was successfully tested on line 15. As our journey through the vision of the Grand Paris Express comes to a close, we indeed stand on the brink of a new era for the Parisians and the people of the wider Ile-de-France region. We can just imagine a future where the daily commute from the suburbs to Paris is transformed from a congested nightmare into a swift, seamless journey. Thanks to numerous connections with the existing transport network, the new metro will definitely constitute an alternative to using the car for everyday travel. Also, developments around stations will encourage walking and cycling to reach the metro. The Grand Paris Express also promises to reduce travel times, ease traffic congestion, and extend the reach of mass public transportation to underserved communities. As the City of Light continues to shine brightly on the world stage, this project stands out as a testament to Paris's enduring spirit of progress. For Parisians and visitors alike, this isn't just a new metro system, it's the heartbeat of a dynamic, interconnected metropolis that will serve many years to come. Until the next time, goodbye.